today's video is going to be restocking lots of our Winter Wonderland collection fragrances. And here's my list here. We've got so many and there's going to be a total of 27 of each of these. So today we're going to be making about 200 candles. I am so, so excited. So right now we're pouring out the sugar cookie fragrance and this one is from candlesandsupplies.com. I really adore this oil. It's a fragrance that I think not too many people know about and this was actually, believe it or not, the first fragrance company that I'd ever tried. And then this is the Snickerdoodle fragrance. Um, I blend the one from the Flaming Candle 50-50 with the one from Candle Science. I just find that this one from the Flaming Candle has more spice notes to it and the one from Candle Science that you see in that big white jug um, that one has more of like the bread type bakery notes to it, I would say. And together they just make a really nice match. So you can always use the 16 ounce bottles. They are pet plastic. Um, you can get them on Amazon as well. And I'll try to include a link in the description box. Um, you can just see I made kind of a, a sloppy label on this one, but you could definitely make some nicer labels. Now we are pouring um, the first scent for me, which I believe these are the sugar cookie candles. Believe it or not, winter uh, restock and with just making winter candles in general. Um, it's my absolute favorite season. A lot of people say that about fall candles, but to me there's something extra magical about these holiday fragrances. And I do adore Halloween scents though, um, in, in those fall harvest type fragrances. But yeah, so I am pouring out three of those pitchers and I just do them um, kind of one at a time and then I will just top these off after I've gotten them all filled, which is what I'm doing right now actually. Whatever it looks like, it's a little bit lower. And these tins from Alibaba are a little more challenging because they don't really have that line to fill it up to. If you get your tins from Aztec or the Flaming Candle, they have that nice little line. But I did like these ones since they are more of like a sleek finish. And these are just the little wick bars, and I do use the ones from Candle Science or Amazon. I definitely prefer these to the ones with the holes in the center. I usually get these on after I've gotten <laughs> several different scents poured. So I'll pour like 50, 75 candles and put those pins on at the very last minute. It's probably not the best practice. Um, but this next one here, um, I believe we are doing, yeah, we're just checking the temperature now. Um, I think this one was the Moonlight in Vermont scent. So that one is going to be Cypress and Bayberry by Candle Science. Um, I'm actually recording this as a voiceover so that the audio quality is a little bit better. And these beakers are just unparalleled, I think. Um, you can get them in so many different sizes. I have actually dropped these glass beakers and they haven't broken which, I mean, I wouldn't recommend, but it's happened. So right now I just poured in five ounces of that, um, I believe that one is going to be the Cypress and Bayberry. And what I do is after I make one of these, um, I've started to add the names to the pictures. Um, I don't think I do it in this video, but um, I've actually done another restock. Um, it's about a week later that I'm doing the audio, the voiceover. And I now will put like a little post-it note on the pictures or on the actually on the, the lab beakers, and then I'll transfer it to the pitchers and then to where I pour. Just so that way when I'm doing more scents, there's absolutely no question um, as to what they are. And this fragrance is so strong. This is the third pouring pitcher of the Cypress and Bayberry. 
it's such a good thrower, I think. Um, it's definitely more of like a peppery, polarizing type of a fragrance. Um, no, actually this one here that I'm doing now is not any longer the Cypress and Bayberry. I think this is, um, maybe it's the Cocoa Butter Cashmere by the Flaming Candle. That's another really good thrower. Um, most of you are probably already familiar with that oil. So these are the next pitchers and this will make a total of um, nine candles per pitcher. And you can see those cotter pins, um, or those wick bars, I should say, on the candles to the left of this. And usually, I am not that good where I'll get them on that quickly. It usually takes me a little bit of time just because I like to pour as much as possible and then do the pins afterwards, um, or the wick bars afterwards. There's something so magical when you're pouring candles. It's so peaceful and just relaxing, I think, to do. And this is something that I like to do when I'm not in too much of a hurry because I definitely notice that I create a lot more work for myself if I pour these when I am rushed. Just going with a slow and steady hand um, definitely is, um, I found, the most effective. And there are people who like to use pancake dispensers for this. I just get so much satisfaction out of doing it this old-fashioned way um, that I haven't invested in one of those yet. And just so you all know, the wicks on these are going to be the CD14, and I do usually get them from Candle Science or the Flaming Candle, just whoever I'm ordering from. But I find that those um, particular wicks and that particular wick series works really, really well for the tins. It's actually um, a flat braided cotton wick that is interwoven with paper threads, and it uh, will curl at about a 60 degree angle. And so it's sort of self-trimming as well, but uh, if you prefer something that doesn't curl as much, then I would definitely recommend the CDN Wick Series, which is by the same manufacturer, actually. Extremely good performing wicks, especially if you deal with natural waxes that are very viscous, like soy. And these candles here were all made with the Golden Brands um, 464 wax. If you have the luxury of more space, you can definitely um, have an easier time pouring candles, but those of us who have tight spaces will find a way to make it work, and you just get really good at uh, kind of your arm strength and in practice with um, pouring the ones in the front first, and then when your pitcher is less full, you'll see that I'll kind of jump to the back more often, but uh, really it's just whatever angle feels right to me um, in the moment. You kind of get a feel for it as you've if done it a number of times, I find. These ones that I'm pouring right now are going to be the Snickerdoodle, and this scent is so, so good. It's not one of my more popular sellers, unfortunately but uh, I absolutely love the blend of the Flaming Candle Snickerdoodle with the Candle Science. It's just a classic scent um, that I don't ever want to get rid of in my line. So what candles are you all making for the holidays? I think for me it has to be probably something peppermint or something Christmas tree type scented. I just, I grew up with pine fragrances always being something that my mom loved burning during the holidays and so it just has that kind of sentimental um, value to it for me personally. But my goodness, all these scents smell so amazing. And this is going to be my last couple of these um, snickerdoodle candles. And, oh my god, I'm so excited. I did cut some of the footage out, so you wouldn't have to watch me pour um, 200 of these. Um, but let me know if you all enjoy these videos, um, these make candles with me type videos. I really do enjoy filming them for you all. I'm really excited to show you at the end of this video my new labels for these candles. They're actually not totally new. Um, I started redesigning them last year and um, I actually have a video on how I design my labels 
that I will try to link above if editing Alan can remember to do so. So these are all the candles the next day and just so you can see how smooth that finishes um, it is definitely possible to get this regularly with 464. They're not all perfectly smooth um, just so you all can see how some of them do have some bumps and whatnot but generally I would say pretty smooth and oh my gosh I had a latte break. But these are after I've added the crystals. The London Fog are so amazing. Um, I'll put my blends in the description box if any of these are my custom blends. But oh my gosh. And then the Frosted Juniper, all-time favorite. One of them for a holiday berry. And then the sugar cookie that I told you all about from Candles and Supplies. I get a little carried away as well with the glitter at the holidays. So you'll see some of that too. And then this is the Moonlight in Vermont, um, the Cypress and Bayberry by Candle Science. Oh my gosh, such a gorgeous, gorgeous lux scent. And then this is the Cocoa Butter Cashmere by the Flaming Candle. And oh my God, it's also a bestseller for me in the fall and winter. And then we have the 50-50 of the Snickerdoodle from Candle Science and Flaming Candle. And then this is the Peppermint and Eucalyptus by Candle Science. And this is a fragrance that people ask me about year round. And then the top labels, the cashmere sweater, and then the moonlight in Vermont top label. And then here's my sugar cookie. Oh my goodness, I adore I, this photography and it's not my own. Um, if you watch my video, you'll see that I get all these photos from Adobe Stock. So they are all taken by professional photographers and you're essentially just paying for the rights to use them on your product. The licensing is what it is. I love this macro shot of the juniper berries and then this one with the peppermint and the eucalyptus I think was just perfect for that scent. Um, so thank you so much to all of you for watching and if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss any updates from me. Please comment down below what scents you're making for this winter. What is your favorite winter fragrance? And what candle do you like burning the most during the winter season? Um, but anyways, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. And I'm sending everyone peace, love, and light. And I'm wishing all of you happy candle making. <laughs>